Yo, ladies and gentlemen, how we all doing? Now, welcome back. It's SD Graphics. It's Santi Dominguez from Instagram, guys. Today, we're just going to go right into it. Um, Danica Patrick's Chevrolet is going to go on top of Kyle Busch's Toyota. Now, lately, I know some of the posts have been actually doing really well. You guys actually apparently really love these. So, we'll do more of them. Why not? I love doing them. Um, but y'all just love switching the three current manufacturers um, onto each other. So let's say you have the Camry and then you swap it on for a Camaro or a Mustang. You guys like that. So um, let's just do it to Kyle Busch. Honestly, I'm really curious myself to see, uh, I was about to say Haley Deegan, to see uh, Danica Patrick's front end on this car. So uh, yeah, let's see how this thing looks with a Mustang. So, um, I've done a Kyle Busch Camaro and a Mustang already, um, the normal m m scheme, and it, honestly, it looks fantastic, but, uh, let's just do the same for this one, and let's just jump right into it. So, first of all, guys, um, I'll leave these pictures down in the description, like, uh, like how I did last time, but if you guys want to follow along with other cars, if you guys are doing an Audi or whatever, uh, same things apply, um, here is gonna be something different, we gotta add the m m in here. Uh, so we're gonna do some different things than what we usually do uh, just to add M&M but um, Same idea. So let's just get right into it All right, so I always make sure it is unlocked right here because it might be locked if it is locked just click the unlock and Press P and let's just cut this thing out. So if you guys want to fast forward this part uh, you guys can I am actually gonna make a video um about uh, about how you do actually use the pen tool and um, it's just gonna be simple video so if you are new to Photoshop or you know you found this channel through YouTube straight up and not through my Instagram account or whatever you guys know how to use a pen tool and this is for if you're completely new I mean even if you have experience under Photoshop but still it's not enough where you still don't understand it I'll put a um, I'll make a video about that and you guys can check that out so it's not a hard tool to use it's very very effective it's very very needed especially uh, when designing you can design all sorts of stuff all right when you get here you're gonna do right click make selection just like always and then control E it's gonna merge the layers control 0 backs you out press V or you can also click the the, the tool right here, which is the move tool. It's just going to help you move everything. So there you go. We got it. Click on it. Drag it up here. Go into here. Bam. You got it in there. So part one is complete of this. This is actually going pretty quick. Um, now we're going to get control T. I'm going to transform it. Now you're going to grab shift and you're going to click here and drag out. And now you can start moving it around. Just click and you can move it around a bit. Just start lining it up with the car. We are actually going really fast with this. And it looks pretty decent around there. Click OK. Now we are set to start with this. So first of all, uh, what we might do, uh, you can keep these. You can actually use the pen tool and keep the logos if you want. Um, you don't have to. But if you guys do want to go ahead and keep it, then by all means, go for it. We are probably going to get rid of it. Or maybe not rid of it, but we're going to uh, move. Actually, let's just cut it out. You can get rid of it, but I'd rather just keep some of the some of the sponsorship on the car. So you're going to cut it really close because if you were just to change the color of the front end with this on, you're actually going to change the color of the logos too. So the front end might look normal, but then your logo is going to be like, a green instead of, like the Sonoko blue is gonna turn like green or something um, which is actually maybe what's gonna happen in this situation all right there you go cut that out make selection it's just like the other ones con control E and control J that copies and that makes a layer right there so you can label them if you want me I'm just kind of flying through it so you just want to cut around here try to get as little green as you can because that way you can just keep it out and if you guys want to skip this part you can you can also just paint over it or use the uh, healing brush which is J on your keyboard 
and uh, you can just remove them as well. You might have to mess around with it a bit. Sometimes a healing brush uh, doesn't work the first time, so you have to go over it a few times with a healing brush. Don't make it, don't make it too edited where it's just flat, straight color, but to the point where you do remove it and it looks, you know, realistic. So let's just cut this part out. Um, if you guys um, are new around here, this is your first video. Um, I am a, I guess I'm a destructive editor in a way. I'm not proud of it, but it's the only way I've learned. I'm not a professional at Photoshop, so if you guys are wanting to see pro stuff, I mean, in a way, I can do pro stuff. <laughs> I mean, I am good at what I do, so that is a fact. Uh, might not be the right way, it's for some people. But uh, for me, look, as long this is how I see it. As long as it works and you can do it and you can get the job done at the end of the day, hey, man, by all means, you go do it however you want to do it. Um, if you just want to follow this exact way, go for it. I mean, it works for me. So, I mean, it's going to work for you guys. Obviously, I'm much quicker than you guys are unless you've had experience with Photoshop before. But for most people that see my stuff, most of them don't have that much experience. So it's a bit slower for them, but there's no rush at the end of the day. Just using the paintbrush tool to go over that. Start from here, bring that down. Zoom out, looks good. And right here what I'm doing is I'm using the eye, it's the eyedropper. So you can select, and as you can see right here in the corner, you can see which wherever you click it changes to that color so since I want this color you can actually maybe get rid of this with the healing brush boom alright there you go see how see how you get these middle lines of extra you can get rid of that you can also uh, do right click and fix the hardness but for this it's fixed pretty much or you can get a soft brush and paint over it which we might do Nah, we're good. You zoom out, you don't see anything. It looks it looks pretty good. Alright. So, we got this. Now, let's change the color of this front end. Actually, before that, you can change the color now, or you can wait. I, I actually recommend cut out the front end first, because the ZL1, the red, and even the shadows, it's very, very faint color. It looks like there's no color here, but there might be like a light hint of blue or something, so... Let's just cut this out first. Same thing as before, just get the pen tool, cut it all out. It's a lot about just cutting and pasting and then painting over pretty much. That's what this whole uh, car manufacturer swap thing is. Well, when you do it long enough, you start to get quick at it. So, so here we go. You can fast forward this part, or if you are just trying to keep up with me, you can do it. your choice you're the viewer of the video I've had so much schoolwork lately it's ridiculous it's because I just started online uh, school online summer school so it's only two courses I'm taking um, I know you guys don't really care but I'm trying to fill in the <laughs> the time as I'm cutting this out but you know in between school and designing you got to find a balance so today's kind of the the car designing day and then tomorrow in the morning it's just gonna be all school so all right so once you do that control e control j so now you have a second layer of this and you can go ahead and do this to the rest uh i won't fast forward this part simply if you are wanting to watch every single step i make that's cool if you can skip a bit if you want to i will not be offended i won't even know <laughs> So y'all go ahead and do that. But um yeah, so school, college, and I mean I'm going to school for graphic design, so it falls right into line with what I'm doing right now. And uh, you know, I design race cars. If you follow my Instagram page, you guys know I design race cars. I design paint schemes or design eye racing schemes. I do them for a commission as well. You know, hit me up with whatever you guys need. If you guys need me. I have a Twitter, I don't use it, just because Instagram is my main, I should use my Twitter, I mean I only have like a few followers on there anyways, but uh, I don't know, I just never got the hang of Twitter, not that I don't know how to use it, I'm just not really invested in it, Instagram's where it's at, oh yeah, it's just tons of designing, 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 and I absolutely love it, I never get tired of it, 
here and there, if I have to make a certain amount of posts or something, I do get a little burned out, so I do take a break. And sometimes I make a post for the following day, and the following day I literally just make no post, just because I have to take a break. But um, also at the rate, I mean, I post. I post like two, three, four times a day sometimes. Like, I post a lot. But it doesn't take that long for me, especially since, you know, coronavirus and all that stuff. You're at home a lot and you got a lot of time. But uh, even whenever I go back to school and stuff like actual campus, you know, I'm still going to be doing these. All right, so we cut these things out. Now, let's actually get rid of this, uh, the watermark at the bottom right here. You can still see it sticking out. So, as I mentioned before, you can use the healing brush. It's J on your keyboard, the shortcut. If you guys learn the shortcuts, I promise you it's so much quicker. And it's not that bad. Like, I am tr I'm starting to learn to use Blender. That's bad. <laughs> Blender's a 3D software, and it's it's very similar to 3ds Max and stuff. It's just the free version technically, and I've heard it's a little harder than 3ds Max to learn. But like 3ds Max is like at the cost of like two grand or something like a year. Like that's a lot of money, especially for a college student like me. I can't be afford. I can't afford that. Let's see. So you guys are seeing me work around this too. So maybe, as you can see, you kind of have to mess with it a bit. I don't know how I did it last time. I painted it. That's not what I know I did do. I mean, you could even just paint it like that. I know it looks kind of sloppy, but here, that gets rid of the bottom. And I mean, honestly, I'm just nitpicking at this point. It's gone already, pretty much. That line, no one's gonna see. You're gonna back out. Boom! You're good. All right. Now get the green layer. Go click to the body layer, and then we're gonna go up to image adjustments, hue saturation. So I don't think I've done this before yet, but this is where you change your car's colors. So the body. Uh, make sure you have a high resolution or a good enough resolution image uh, that you can do this because sometimes if you just slightly alter the color or you change it to a different, completely different color, the whole quality of it will go uh, down a lot and you'll start seeing like, you know, artifacting I think it is. And it's just not going to look clean at all. So you guys want to make sure that it works well. Um, actually, what I advise doing, which I do sometimes, is if you're not sure a car is gonna uh, change uh, colors well, like if it's not a good resolution or if it's not sharp, uh, literally with the image uh, of the car right in front of you, um, before you start editing, before you cut anything out, just change the hue of the car and see if the car's body starts doing anything weird. If it if it looks 100% fine like normal, cool. But if you start seeing like you know the loss of quality and stuff, I'd recommend you use a different picture. If it's just slightly Go ahead and use it. I mean, you're going to probably have to blur out uh, the loss of quality a bit. But that's up to you at the end of the day. You're the one designing it. Um, if you feel like fighting with that a bit, you can. I personally don't really like to. Sometimes there's a car angle that I absolutely love. And I have to do it because there's no other picture um, that works with it. But it is what it is. You choose your own battles. So right here with the hue. And we're going to change it to a light blue. So let's actually click on... What light blue should we click on? Probably right here. What I always do is do an extra layer. And I actually just get a brush and kind of paint that right there. So I can roughly match up the front end with what I want the front end's color to look like in the end. So image, adjustments, hue, saturation. Let's change this color. Boom! Look at that. Look how, look how quick that was. And look at the quality. I don't think it's even dropped at all. Perfect. Look, front end, same color. Obviously, we have a bit of green here. That's okay. Click on this layer, image, adjustments, hue, saturation, and we're going to go over here, masters, green, and we're going to drop that down. There you go. You're going to get rid of the greens. Awesome. There we go. So if that if the same thing is happening with any other part of uh, the car, let's say the lights or something like that, you can always just go. You can click on the layer. You can go image, adjustments, 
hue saturation and you're cool and then you know you can choose the color if it's reds if it's yellows if it's greens for this case it was the green so you know we got rid of the greens uh, there's a bit of cyan probably in there but that's that's not an issue at this point and also I recommend you guys uh, go ahead and save just any case uh, that you know you mess up something and you want to go back or uh, your power goes out or stuff um, it's happened to me see <laughs> so in control shift save control shift s Watkins Glen just put Kyle Bush can't type uh, Kyle Bush uh, let's say Camaro tutorial tutorial I'm trying to get my degree in graphic design not English so alright here we go boom alright cool so we're gonna click on the body layer get E that's your eraser tool Make you can use the bracket keys next to the P on your keyboard next to the P underneath the backspace roughly around there you can make it bigger and smaller right click hardness zero and let's go ahead and erase here we go awesome 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 already looking good already looking good so obviously the front end is looking a bit weird um, we can actually we're actually gonna fix this probably after uh, I should have done it before but since I commentate I sometimes forget certain steps here and there but you can see obviously the front end is not centered but we can fix that at the end it's all cool um, but first what we are gonna do is you're gonna click on the bottom layer which is the Kyle Busch car the actual Toyota and a control J two more times I always do two more times so you have three different three exact same layers so this first layer what you're gonna do is you're gonna come through here select the blue that's roughly around here select the blue with the eyedropper tool get B for brush make it smaller get the hardness to zero and just paint on out there we go awesome just paint it in alright so now let's paint this part in you're gonna make the brush a bit bigger so it kind of blends with the rest of the car. You're gonna press E, make it smaller, hardness 100. You can come to this part of the outside of the car right here, maybe actually make this smaller. And click and start erasing that blue that you just put down. So, And if you can't see, actually, turn down the opacity so you can see where the body of the car goes. So it goes around here. Follow that closely. As you get done, you'll be fine. All right, cool. Opacity, you can turn it back up and just erase the rest of what's remaining. There might be a part down here you gotta erase. You can take your time, there's no rush on this. If you're trying to keep up with me, if you're doing this at the same pace I'm doing, I might be a bit ahead. And as you can see, we cut these parts out, so they look fine there's barely any green look there's barely some green here you can see the green like I said you can go desaturate the greens under image adjustments hue saturation we'll do that at the end I'm in no rush actually right before uh, we merge everything together so we can move the front end of this car uh, we'll do that uh, so we got this side done uh, let's do the same thing to this side This is going to be a slightly longer tutorial just because we got to add the M&Ms and they do take a bit of time. They're not very hard, honestly, but they do take a bit of time. So just go on and cover that, paint that in, and cool. All right, same thing. Make it smaller. Make sure the hardness is on 100 and turn this down. And bam, bam. Just follow the outline of the car. We can move this front end over, so if it, if you can still see parts of the car, no worries. We can fix that after. All right, just erase the outside. Same thing as all the other cars. Same story. All right, cool. Save it real quick. 
Control S is to save. So once you already made the uh, like the the first save and you put it where you want to save it, I just usually put Control S, Control S, Control S to make sure you know I'm doing uh, you know I don't lose any progress by any chance or something. All right, so let's move. Let's actually get rid of this since we have our blue already. We can get rid of it. Make that there. You go back up. Cool. So now, obviously, we got this part. Just get the color around here. Let's probably use that color. Make sure you're on the right layer, and just paint that in. Let's see. Maybe make the brush a bit smaller. And there you go. Start painting that in. This might take a bit. Kyle Busch's cars are not nice to you. They, you have to paint in a lot of stuff, but it is worth it in the end. So, And if you can't see where you're painting, you can get this. Get rid of that. So we roughly want to copy that. In fact, what we're going to do probably. You're seeing me actually work with this live so I have to actually you know put in some effort myself it's not like I know exactly what I'm doing like I'm making this car with you guys at the same time all right so what I'm actually doing right here is I'm actually making the brown spot on this car and there you go make selection okay add a new layer and then make this pen actually um, go on to this new layer so you got nothing on this layer and actually what you're gonna end up doing is just you're just gonna paint in so there's multiple ways of doing this you can also stamp it stamping takes a, a bit more but if you guys feel like stamping is a better way by all means stamp your way through it so Cool. And then you can actually erase this slightly. Get a zero hardness eraser. Just don't make it so big. And you can actually slowly start getting away. Just taking these lines away here. Alright, so same thing. Keep painting over it. Like I said, it might be a longer tutorial just because we're actually doing this these these Kyle Busch cars always take a bit more but we're doing this at the same time so it's not like I do these ahead of time I know what I'm doing but they always take a bit of time so you back out there you go follows that shadow right there boom boom it goes back down so looks good zoom in there get the eraser tool hardness is zero make the opacity go down and cool turn it up nice awesome all right so you can turn up the layers see how it kind of came out and uh, we can we can get rid of this at this point delete there awesome so I think you can actually still oh wait hold on this needs to go up All right, that looks good. So, from here, what we can probably do, we can actually merge all the Chevy uh, parts together. So, you can click on here. You can press Control while you're clicking all these layers. So, click your first layer. Pl click Control. Wait, no. Shift, I think. Yep, Shift. Control, Shift. Not Control, Shift. Click, Shift. Click, Shift. Click, Shift on all the layers that you want the front end to go with. All right, so once we're here... You're going to go, you're going to see which layers they are. Actually, they're on order. So we got to go down to layer one. So control E. There. Awesome. So now if you move it, you got all the layers together. So now we're going to go control T and we're going to move this. So here we go. There you go. You can already see it's starting to line up much better. And make sure look at the grill the grill will always tell you how lined up it is so obviously it's gonna look a bit tilted so you want to make sure the grill isn't coming 
really diagonally here and it's just coming straight you want to make it seem kind of balanced it does take a bit of practice but you'll get you'll get the hang of it the more times you do it you'll get it all right so yeah just play around with it a bit like I said I'm not gonna speed anything up so if you guys want to see my pro my process of how to do this um there you go I think that actually looks pretty good you want it to match up around here around the center of the hood you want to use uh, the pins on the hood and you want to kind of line it up in the middle not exactly because remember it's at an angle this is roughly the middle going down the car so this is the middle the middle comes through here so roughly the front end would be right here so make sure both sides right here the grill look pretty neat that works all right click the check at the top when you're done awesome we're almost there one step closer so now obviously your front end is all one piece so um, we can go ahead and get rid of the green so actually just click the layer and just go to your greens there you go as you can see the greens they're all you can see on the grill this is at 100% saturation but you go ahead and get rid of it boom your green is gone and the same thing with blue so if you want to go image adjustments and if you feel like you're doing another car you're working on another project and the blue needs to be darker or something you can also go to hue saturation vibrance too vibrance works but when it comes to changing colors you want to go here so obviously you change the front end you change the saturation saturation makes it how actually maybe a little saturation wouldn't be bad maybe around 15 so that the saturation just boosts the colors that's all it does lightness makes it darker lighter obviously all right let's press okay all right we're almost done in fact i think we're not gonna have to worry too much about the m&m the red m&m all right so let's come over here same thing as before click the color around the light get a zero hardness brush and paint this light out and as you're gonna find out there's different shades of blue in different areas so get the shade roughly from from the area that you're gonna be painting in so it doesn't look too weird or even paint into some areas if there's slightly different shades it's fine you're not gonna be able to tell when you zoom out alright cool we'll keep it there for now alright this is gonna look super cool I'm actually really hyped see this <laughs> um alright let's get rid of this red right here or not the red the grill as you can see a bit of the toyota grill is popping out so same thing get rid of here get uh get the color from there and let's get rid of this actually that is not what i want maybe here why is it coming out so maybe try different areas you can try different areas that's much better that's much better and you can actually spread out your uh, paint right here a bit too, just to make it seem like it blends in. So you can work. What it is pretty much is just advanced painting. <laughs> that's that's essentially what this is. What was this again? I don't remember. That's why you should la label your layers. But you know, <laughs> actually, we'll just merge these together. There you go. Cool. All right so pretty much what's remaining the only things really remaining like on actual editing is right here so let's just finish off this light control save and let's finish this thing all right we're here you can look around what needs to be painted out what doesn't need to be and right here as you can see obviously we have this all right so this is where we're gonna start actually making m m so I'm sorry if this is going on a little longer it's just the, the Kyle Busch m m cars take longer because they actually have to paint out the m ms um, in some areas or paint in but uh, this part's actually pretty quick so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make two new layers the plus two right here is to make new layers or you can go to edit and I think new layer right here I'm not sure image well, it's around you. There's another way you can do it. Um, I should know this, but I don't. But yeah, I always just this one right here. This little plus sign, just new layer. That's all you need to know. It's the, it's the faster way, anyways. Um, so 
we're going to find right here and we're going to actually click on this M&M. As you can see the M&M goes through here. So follow it and let's make it curve around here. And literally we're just tracing the M&M. We're going to paint in the M&M. So there you go. There. All right. Let's come on in right here. Awesome. All right, and then from here, uh, we can dip it below the the light. Where does the Camaro light go through? Oh, let's dip it a bit more. Actually, let's let's actually cut it around here. So that way we can cover up that light. It's a bit of thinking required. Awesome. Make selection. Boom, boom, boom. Try not to bore you guys too much. I mean, if you guys are really invested into it, you probably won't find this boring, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right, so once we got this, Make the brush as big as you want. Get your paintbrush, paint that on in. What I just did, I grabbed the color of what was right here in this corner, which is the most red, and uh, boom, we got it. So this is gonna go. It's gonna go on here. Let's turn that up and let's get the blending option. So the blending options you'll see obviously on the hood. Um. Or not on the hood. You, yeah, well, you'll sit in the front. So you'll see in the front, each blending option is different. So you want to find one that kind of matches the car and it makes it look realistic. Maybe maybe this one. Maybe. This one actually seems to work decently. Color. And you can brighten it. You can make it a bit darker after it's on there. I might have to go with color. It's just a thing that takes time. Just gotta look at what works, what doesn't. We'll go color. All right, cool. So with color, obviously now we gotta get rid of the red on the grill. So you just get the eraser tool, make it at make it uh 100. Boom, it's at 100. Cool, and let's erase this. Make sure you're on the right layer tool, as I was not. Right layer two. All right, cool. And you can just follow your way around here. Make sure you're not cutting out the Toyota light in the back. Make sure it's only the Camaro light. It's a little bit complex. It can be kind of confusing at times, even for me. The Kyle Busch cars usually take quite a bit of thinking. It's kind of weird with commentating. It doesn't allow me to focus as well. Got the Chevy logo and just kind of follow along the black. All right, cool. And if you want to, like right here, it's barely blue. You can go back in and paint that with a paintbrush if you really want to. Probably will, just, you know, real quick. It doesn't take long. There you go. Zoom out. As you can see, it's looking pretty decent. I feel like it needs to be darker, but I'm going to take out the part on the grill first. Just follow along your grill here. You don't want any blue to pop up. If it does, you can go back and fill it in, like I said, or you can just redo the erase. That's what I'm gonna do right here. Cool. All right, once you're done there, erase it on the grill. Zoom out, looks decent, looks good. Um, let's see what we do, Control S, let's save it. Obviously here, we gotta fill this in, get rid of the light as we're almost done. Uh, let's click this layer and let's make go to image adjustments and this is the part where you start kind of playing with it you can make it a bit more red 
you can change the color of it you can change the redness I feel like that's what's gonna be probably around here what actually works a lot too you can burn it so you come over here and burn is gonna allow you to darken it so let's go highlights gonna make it a bit more gray it's just about playing around at this point there you go maybe by, by copying it you just got to play around with it at this point this is this is the kind of points where you have to play around with it and see how it goes so you just gotta hope for the best and if not that doesn't work just go back through and start using other blending options as well and see if that works looks like that one's the best one looks decent uh, we just got to get rid of that light it is what it is it is what it is so all right we're gonna get rid of it right here we don't need it you can get a soft brush and just fill this in there you go cool because you don't want to have a line of you know that so there we go make it much smaller and at this point man it's just about getting rid of that light make sure you're on the right layer it's got to be on the Toyota layer there you go there you go as you can see you can still slightly see this layer so we're gonna actually get rid of it very slightly with a really light brush awesome we're almost done make it smaller boom 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 <laughs> and actually you can see it starts spilling out right there the color because it's on low hardness you can use a harder a harder brush if you want but uh, I just go with the light whenever I'm around here awesome zoom on out to me it's still a little bright um i'm gonna have to play around with it but as you can see the overall picture pretty much looks complete so uh what i will do maybe i don't know if i'm gonna end up trying to um darken the image before i will darken the image before i put it onto uh instagram i don't know if i'm gonna do it in this video but at this point it's just about playing around trying to make it darker um because obviously you can see it's a little lighter than the rest of the car i'd like it to be darker it almost looks like a pink because it's too lit it's too well lit so um but we'll get rid of the toyota logos at the top and i'll probably just call it a video i mean we got this m m right here and um you know we'll probably add the 18 well we'll do a few more things so we'll see how it goes so make sure you're on the right layer um let's go over here press J and let's just click on that hopefully it gets rid of it the first time if not boom you second time awesome got rid of it same thing over here I wanna just get the Toyota low you wanna try not to get anything else because if you do it's gonna look really weird yeah it's gonna look you see you see there's like a missing part right there if not if worse comes to worst you can actually just paint it in I mean it's a solid color pretty much so that's what we actually might do so click on the area make their brush smaller use a light brush for this do not use a hard brush as you're gonna be able to see like really in here I actually show you'll be able to see lines you see where you see that there you go awesome you got rid of it and you know if you see up here this is actually just part of the windshield the reflections and stuff um so sometimes you can actually get away with your blending and then obviously you you know you change it up a bit but it looks it looks normal it looks perfect so from here i think we are pretty much done let's add the 18 remember continue saving continue saving all right here we go boom 18 is right here all right wait for that to open up 
Get your W. I actually have a um a whole just page of just NASCAR numbers, but this number is uh, it's pretty good resolution. So so let's use this one right here. And what I actually do a lot, just put this one to the top and actually just turn off these layers and find where the real 18 is. And all right, so you can see it's around here. So let's scale it down to what this one is. Make it smaller. And just like the other ones, get here. And you, let's warp this. Boom. Boom. There you go. Awesome. And this is coming off the real car, so you don't have to worry about angling or anything. It works. If you guys want to make it smaller, you can. I probably will keep it there. But we are for sure going to darken it a bit. It's too lit. It's too well lit. Maybe around there. And then, you know, you can always go through your blending options see what, what you can do. What I do sometimes, especially with these numbers, is turn down the opacity a bit. Actually, I think it looked pretty good how it was before. We'll keep it there. Maybe what I will do is make it a bit smaller. Awesome. Alright, so pretty much, uh, you can go ahead and add the Chevy uh, logos if you want. I sometimes don't do it. Just because the main idea of what I'm trying to do is just try to get the Kyle Busch front end. Or uh, with the cars, front end, whatever it is, you can go ahead and add the Chevy logos. It's the same thing as you know adding uh, this. Sometimes I actually turn the opacity down a little since it's on a windshield, and you don't want to have a solid color. You're gonna have like a reflection and stuff. So um, let's just go right for it. I'm gonna try to make this a bit darker. And you can do a lot of different things. Uh, let's see, the 18. I mean, at this point, we're pretty much done. So, we got the Camaro front end on there. And I'll see, I'll experiment a minute or two. And if, if it doesn't work, I'll just call it a video. I mean, this car is pretty much done. It is done. I just want to darken it out of personal preference because I think it'd look a bit better. Uh, you can go here, Vibrant. Maybe darken it a bit. It is hard whenever you have a blending option on it. You can do a couple different things. You can go to adjustments. And you can go to uh, vibrance maybe if you haven't tried vibrance. It's literally just trial and error at this point. Or maybe even what you could do is just try richer red. Because it's a little bit of a light pinkish. You can see we're changing the colors there. I mean, it looks good enough. Like I said, I'll probably go back through it. But um, we're going to conclude it right here, guys. Um, for sure, before I put, post this on Instagram, uh, I'll probably actually put in the description how I ended up doing it. But uh, if you guys watched the, all the way through, I, um, I appreciate you guys. For watching i hope you guys learned something i know this tutorial might have gone a bit longer i don't know how long it's gone i can't see but um i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys were able to get it done if not it just takes practice uh you're not going to get it the first time so pretty much we're going to end the video here i'll see you guys in the next video it's your boy santi dominguez y'all take care um leave a like subscribe if you haven't followed the instagram account uh it is literally in the beginning so you guys go check that out uh i post content like this all the time um also i'm starting to post uh nascars like in european racetracks and stuff uh, a lot of you guys like that so we're gonna get right into that uh with all that you know all that jazz and all that music. so if you guys uh enjoyed watching leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time take care my friends peace